Hey, it's Nate here, and I know that a lot of Christmas tunes can be pretty complicated, so I wanted to give you three Christmas songs that you can play with only three chords. Now, I have the chord charts for you. I also have some jam tracks that are kind of like string quartet things with drums that I put together, so you can practice along to them, get the songs down to where you can play them with no problem before you need to use them around Christmas time. The three chords that we're gonna be using here are just G, open G major, open C major, and open D major, so it's the one, four, five in the key of G, so we'll be in the key of G for all three songs. And two of these songs are in three, four times, so you have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, as far as the strumming goes for these songs, you're gonna keep it really simple, maybe quarter notes or downstrokes the entire time. Dress it up a little bit if you want, but if you're a fingerstyle guitarist, the first two songs that are in 3-4 work out really nicely for you because if you do a regular rolling pattern, up, that's six notes, so that works out to be one and two and three and, and that fills up an entire measure. You can use that finger picking pattern for the entire tune. But let's get started with the first one and it's away in a major. This tune starts off with a pickup bar, or what we call anacrusis, and that just means you have one, two, away in a major. So on beat three, you have that first melody note. So away, and then you start your strumming. So one, two, three. For that first measure, you have a G, and just play all downstrokes if you want to for right now. So the first two measures are G chord. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then go to a C for one measure, or three beats. One, two, three. And make sure to pull your elbow in close to your body if you're having trouble making that chord sound clean to come right down on the very tips of your fingers, right? Then switch back to a G major for one measure. Then you have a D major for two measures. And when you make that D major, make sure not to strum the low E and A strings. You just want to strum the top four strings, so one, Down his sweet head is a G. One, two, three. One, two, three. So two measures of G there. Then you have two more measures of G. Stars in the sky. And switch to a C major for one measure. One, two, three. Back to a G. One, two, three. Back to a C. One, two, three. Jesus. One, two, three. Next measure, one, two, on a C, and then on the third beat, the second to last measure, go to a D chord for just one beat, and then finish on a G chord, one, two, three. Let me play it along to the jam track for you, and you can kind of hear where it's going, because the melody will be in the violin there. One, two, three. Two more G's, one, two, three, one, two, three, C, G, C, G, C, quick D, G. And if you want to play finger style along to this song, it works out really well. Like I said, you can use that rolling pattern where you just roll up and then back down. So you go thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index, and that's your whole pattern, one and two and three and. and. All you have to do is change your thumb when you change chords. So on your G, you use your you know, low E string. C, make sure to change your bass note to that fifth string. To the G. When you go to the D, make sure to play just the top four strings. Song number two is Silent Night, and it's the exact same chords, G major, C major, and D major, and it's in the same time signature, it's still in three, four, so the same thing applies. You can play just quarter notes. One, two, three, one, two, three. One thing that you might wanna do as far as the strumming goes that I like to do, I like to hit the lower notes on the one, and then the higher notes on the two and three. Or one, 
two, three, and. You can put that and on the three. One, two. And I'm just putting an upstroke there on the end of three. One, two, three. So those are some options for you, and the exact same finger picking pattern applies if you want to use that. So really all you have to do for this one is work on getting the chord changes down and memorize the chord progression. Let's go ahead and get started with this. It starts off on a G, so one, two, three, G, G, G. So you have four measures of G there, then switch to a D. One, two, three, one, two, three for two measures. Two measures of G. C for two measures. C for two measures, G for two. D for two measures, G, 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 D, and then two measures of G to finish. So if you're having trouble with these chord transitions, make sure to just kind of isolate the challenge. Just work on two chords at a time, work on that G and the C. Make sure your elbow's close to your body again, right behind the frets, right on the very tips of your fingers. And then you know once you have that change zone, work on that C to D too and make sure that's clean. Let me play through this jam track with the melody. I'll do it finger style this time for you. And each one of these jam tracks, just so you know, just loops over and over again. Once you reach the end of the melody, it starts over again. So you can work on it and get it down really well. The next song we're gonna work on, and the last one for this video, is Joy to the World. It's a little bit different because it's in 4-4 four, four time. You can go ahead and keep the strumming really simple if you like, just quarter note downstrokes the entire time. So start out on G major chord, and you have two full measures of that, and then a half measure of G. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. That third measure on beat three switches to a D. Three, four for two beats, and back to a G major. One, two, three, four. C major for one measure. One, two, three, four. D major for one measure. One, two, three, four. Then one. back to G major for two measures to complete that first little phrase. From there you have six more bars of G major. And then you have a D major for one bar. Then one more bar of D. Then a G major for three beats. C for one beat, that fourth beat. Back to whole measure of G. One, two, three, four. Next measure is two beats of G and then two beats of D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And on that one measure of G. I know that's a lot of switching between chords, but just pull up the PDF of the chord chart, study it, and try to memorize where the chords change. Let me play through it for you with the jam track. One, two, three, G. Stretch a G. Stay there. G. G. Still there. G. G. Comes a D. Another D. G. C. G. G. D. G. G. 
So there you go, three Christmas songs with only three chords. Make sure to download the chord chart and then practice along with the jam track too so you can have these songs down by the time Christmas gets here. If you like this lesson, subscribe or give a thumbs up or you can head over to guitario.com for lots of great lessons too. I'll see you there.